10 secrets we know about Sonic 3. Sonic the Hedgehog 3, the next sequel of the amazing Sonic the Hedgehog franchise that will be released on December the 20th of 2024, and we're all eagerly waiting for it. The last Sonic the Hedgehog movies were an absolute masterpiece. Sonic 1, and especially Sonic 2, were among one of the best animated movies released on this decade, mainly because the Sonic movies are packed with one ingredient that makes every animated movie great, and it's fun. The Sonic movies are very fun to watch because of their action packed scenes, the CGI effects, and the adrenaline that these scenes have are something that we all like about these movies. Also, they are mixed with mesmerizing graphics that make the environment just a joy to watch. The action scenes of the Sonic the Hedgehog 1 and 2 are probably the most entertaining action scenes in an animated movie in years. They are a mix of incredible CGI graphics, epic moments that leave us with our eyes glued to the screen, and an incredible scenery that shines from all of its amazing glory. Sonic 3 will probably be even better than these two movies combined, since in Sonic 2 we saw Tails, and in Sonic 3 we will be seeing Shadow the Hedgehog, whom we see at the end of the second movie. This, along with the fact that Sonic will have to go against his most powerful antagonist yet, and we will also be probably seeing Amy Rose, this leaves a lot of room for the most epic and legendary Sonic movie to come. Sonic 3 will definitely be an amazing movie to watch, and we have to see it. Sonic 3 will be telling us the story of Sonic after the event of the second movie. This time, Sonic will have to face the creation of Robert Nick's grandfather, Shadow the Hedgehog. But this is not all. Robert Nick obtains some pieces of the destroyed green emerald and creates a robotic version of Sonic, which we all know as Metal Sonic. These incredible, powerful antagonists will join forces to defeat Sonic once and for all, and it will be his most challenging mission so far, to the point where I think he will not be able to defeat them in one single movie. The antagonists of the third movie are going to be so powerful that they are going to be going into the fourth movie as well. But there are a lot of things that you don't know about the upcoming Sonic 3 movie. Important facts about the plot, the characters, and the scenes that you probably didn't know, but are very, very interesting, and you're definitely gonna have to see. The movie hasn't come out yet, but we know a lot about Sonic 3 so far, and you should know all of these amazing details too. So without further ado, let's get straight into the 10 secrets we know about Sonic 3. Let's go, guys! At the end of the movie, we see someone that shocked all of us and made us incredibly eager to watch the next Sonic movie. He will make the next movie be probably the most legendary Sonic movie to date. Also, some of you may have noticed him and maybe know who he is because he appeared only for some seconds, but he is very legendary in the Sonic universe. In any case, this is Shadow the Hedgehog, the arch enemy and the most powerful antagonist of Sonic in the Sonic universe, a massive character that will bring a ton to the next story of Sonic in Sonic 3. Shadow the Hedgehog is not like Knuckles the Echidna, whom we saw Sonic go against in the second movie. While Knuckles the Echidna is actually stronger and more powerful than Sonic, he didn't have the same speed as Sonic. Sonic was way faster than Knuckles, hence defeating him in many occasions and having a lot of capabilities over him. This is not the case with Shadow the Hedgehog. Shadow the Hedgehog is stronger than Knuckles and Sonic combined, and on top of this, his most powerful advantage is that his speed is comparable to that one of Sonic. He is faster than Knuckles and Tails combined, and he has basically almost the same speed capability as Blue Sonic, which means that this time, Sonic will face a powerful force that is far stronger than him and has almost the same speed capability of Sonic, a combination that will prove very difficult for Sonic to defeat, as we see in the original games and early Sonic comics and series. Many people compare this antagonist duo to Goku and Vegeta, because these two respect each other and they're very strong opponents and have different personalities to each other. In the Sonic universe, Shadow the Hedgehog appears for the first time in the game Sonic Adventure 2, published by Sega and released for the consoles of the year 2001. According to the original story of the game, Shadow the Hedgehog was created 50 years before the years that the first Sonic game and eventual Sonic movie takes place by the grandfather of Dr. Eggman. This scientist worked in a project called the Project Shadow to develop the cure for his grandchild. Eventually, Shadow the Hedgehog would become really good friends with his grandchild, but one day, the facility where Shadow the Hedgehog was kept was attacked by the powerful organization GUN, G-U-N, which stands for Guardians Units of Nations. When they attacked the facility, the scientist's grandchild was put down by the crew, but she saved Shadow by keeping him in a preservation machine until he woke up 50 years later, right during the time where Sonic 1 takes place and Sonic 2 ends. When Sonic goes to Earth for the first time and the events that happen in the first movie transpire, as well as the second movie, with the introduction of Tails and Knuckles the Echidna, throughout all of this, Shadow is alive, but is a 
sleep in the preservation machine. 50 years later, Shadow the Hedgehog would wake up with an incredible feeling of revenge. Shadow waking up about to destroy everything around him. Definitely an interesting character story that has a lot of potential and will make the best Sonic movie to date with his presence. Of that, I am 100% sure, guys. There is no doubt about that. Also, we saw the GUN organization in Sonic 2. So they're basically preparing us for the complete storyline of the third movie since this organization will have a lot of appearances and importance in the storyline of the third movie. This also tells us that we will be seeing Shadow's backstory in the movie too, which will actually be amazing. So we'll have to wait for this amazing storyline. One of the biggest mysteries of Sonic 3 is the appearance of Dr. Robotnik or Eggman. Will we see him again? Well, there is some evidence that tells us he won't, and some other evidence that tells us he will. You probably may have heard, guys, that Jim Carrey is retiring from the film industry, and Sonic the Hedgehog 2 was his last movie in Hollywood. But to analyze this with complete detail, let's see the information about this. Jim Carrey gave an interview to Access Hollywood in which he stated, Well, I'm retiring, honestly. I'm being fairly serious about this. But wait, don't lose hope yet, because in the same interview, he proceeds to say, I would come back, it depends if LA brings me some sort of script that's written in gold ink. Which means that if a studio brings Jim Carrey a script that is well written, he would return without a shadow of a doubt. Because he didn't say, I'm retiring no matter what, I am done with this. No, with this statement, Jim Carrey is leaving a door open for new opportunities in the future. But they have to be incredible movies for him to want to do them again. And we know that Sonic 3 will be an amazing movie in all of the senses. Also, you have to remember that at the end of the second movie, the organization got didn't find Dr. Eggman and also Agent Stone was able to escape from the group too. This is a very obvious hint that Dr. Eggman may come back in the future Sonic movies. Since if they would have known that he was never gonna come back, they would have ended his story and not give his ending a mysterious touch and give it an inconclusive finale while keeping Agent Stone alive. It really sets the stage for another appearance of Eggman in the movie. The director of the Sonic franchise, Jeff Fowler, also said in an interview that if he didn't convince Jim Carrey to come back to the franchise, they would never give his character to another actor since no other actor would be able to portray Dr. Eggman in the same way that Jim did Which is absolutely true from the beginning of Dr. Robotnik right into the transformation into Eggman in the Mushroom Kingdom Jim Carrey could easily come back for another movie since Dr. Eggman's story is not necessary for the next movie But very convenient for Sonic 3 since it's Eggman's grandfather who creates Shadow and we will definitely be seeing Eggman's grandfather So it would be very strange to see his grandpa, but not him and also, we have to keep in mind that this is Jim's biggest role in years. He has released several documentaries and even a series, but they all have a very serious tone to them. Sonic is the only franchise where we see the old funny and exaggerating Jim Carrey that we all like, being him in his most natural form. So it's still an enigma. Will we see him in the next movie or no? We don't know about that. Are there more signs that he will be in the next movie? Yes. There is actually more signs that he will be in Sonic 3 than less signs that he won't. Then we have all of these things that happen at the end of the movie that leave the door open. Maybe we won't see him in Sonic 3, but we will see him in Sonic 4. But Dr. Eggman, I think, will definitely come back to the franchise. We don't know if he will appear in Sonic 3 or not, even though it would be an amazing and very convenient addition to the movie. And it would make it a lot more fun and entertaining to watch. But we still have to see, and we have to wait... As I said, at the beginning of the movie, there was a statement leaked about the plot of Sonic 3, and it didn't say much about the villains and new characters, but it mentioned that there would be two antagonists. Judging from the ending of the movie, the other villain will come from the Chaos Emeralds that we saw in the ending. These Chaos Emeralds were portrayed in the movie because they are the beginning of a new era in the Sonic universe, an era that will be incredibly entertaining and will focus on the creatures that will come from these emeralds. In the Sonic storyline, one of the strongest antagonists that comes from these emeralds is Chaos. Chaos is without a doubt one of the most powerful forces in the Sonic universe since his energy comes from the Chaos Emerald, which we saw in Sonic 2. And on top of this, Chaos has a state that is vastly more powerful than Sonic in all of the ways, and that is Super Chaos. Chaos in the Sonic universe lived inside the Master Emerald, which as we see at the end of Sonic 2, Dr. Eggman destroys. And so with this, he releases an absolute behemoth for Earth in the process. And if we go back to the ending of Sonic 2, we actually see the destruction of the Green Emerald, which is how Chaos is liberated in the Sonic storyline. Too much coincidence, isn't it? And another interesting point is that Mushroom Sonic is only defeated by guess who? Super Sonic. And well, my guys, that's all the dose of DJ there is for today. I really hope you guys liked this video and liked all of these great secrets we know about Sonic 3. If you guys liked this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one, my guys. Peace!